don't know if this is a good deal or not. Alright, so we got to fix these things today. They're broke. I don't know what your brother's up to. I don't know. What is that? It's yours. If you just trade me the old Jeep. It's mine, huh? Yeah. Where did you get this thing? Grandpa. Grandpa, huh? Yep. So this is the one that the rear end screwed up in. Yes, very good. What makes you think I want this? Because the cameraman broke your other quad. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> snorkeled it underwater and it doesn't run anymore. And I need a Cherokee. What Cherokee are we talking about here? The red one. The, the red one. My two-door yeah. XJ. Yep. Chief. Yep. For this here quad runner. Does this POS run? I think so. <laughs> I drove it on here so I didn't get runs. Well then. <laughs> it actually runs good. Very good. You gotta get neutral. You're making a good case why I don't want this. There. Nice. See? It runs a beautiful. It's gotta be a good deal. So let's assess this. It needs foot wells. It needs a plastic piece here. The seat's completely annihilated. Tires aren't horrible. The rear end is missing all of the bolts there. And it looks like for a long time they've been missing. That bearing is so gone over there, it ruined the housing. Hey, it's free. It's free, I mean, I worked for that Cherokee, so I don't know, let's and go. And I worked for this quad, so it kind of works out. I see. Other than I'm gonna have to put like fifteen hundred dollars into this to make it run. I'll probably have to put fifteen hundred bucks into the Cherokee. Yeah, I'll put way more than that into <laughs> it. But it's worth more than this. This quad's only worth like fifteen hundred bucks. We better jump in the truck and run down and look at the Cherokee. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, so we decided we'd take a two for trip. We're going to the dump and to look at a Cherokee real quick. Yeah. So we'll go uh, tackle that. We'll see if we can strike a deal, me and old Jace. There she is. No dents, basically. Yeah, you were wanting to make a rock crawler out of this, so. This would be. Someone's been in it. The seats are slid up. You been down here test driving? Hey. <laughs> I think he has. Let me look and see what this had. Okay, we got ourselves a four banger. That's four cylinders of fury right there. It's got a milkshake, so the head gasket is junk. So we'll have to pull the head and fix that. But the good news is, if I trade this to you, you got two years to make this run. Yeah. Because you're 14. You can't even drive till you're 16. I guess we could work this out. I'll nope. trade you. It's a dumb trade on my part, probably. <laughs> this thing's worth way more than that four wheeler's worth. But you need a four wheeler and you don't need a Cherokee. But I. That is a very valid point. I do need a four wheeler <laughs> and I don't really need this Cherokee. And I do. You don't. I but do. you want it pretty bad. <laughs> I guess, shake on it. I'll trade you. It's yours. You got yourself a deep Cherokee now. So, we ordered some parts for this, and we got most of them here, so we're going to start on this today. See if we can figure out the rear end issues and get that handled. Change oil in it, do a service on it. So the bow hunt's coming up, and I need a four-wheeler, so I'm forced into fixing this thing. I'll make it usable so I can have a wheeler again. Get after it. This has been a farm quad its whole life. Hey, We're going to get rid of some of the farmer on it. 
And the thing about a farm quad, if it starts, it gets used no matter if it's broken or not. So that's why the rear end looks like yep, it is. Because it just kept starting because it's a Honda. Let's see what's under here. The air cleaner box just sitting on there. We'll clean it all out, put new oil in it, filter. We got some stuff to do. We should have everything. We got some new foot wells because nobody likes to run your feet over when you're riding a four-wheeler. There's another foot well. We have a left and a right, so that's a bonus. I was gonna just get a seat cover, but that seat was beyond seat cover. You know okay, so I haven't tore this apart, but I assume that it ruined this on the other one because this is where it runs. And this whole axle housing is wore off of the other one. I'll show you in a minute. So we got new bearings to go in all this. We got a new sill that goes somewhere in there. <laughs> we got a new sill for this thing and a maintenance. I'm sure we're going to find more stuff wrong with this. But this is going to get us functional, I think. We, got, we can make the rear brakes work, the axle will be fixed, you'll be able to set on the seat, and your feet won't get run over. And then we got to go out and tear the old winch off of the old four-wheeler, build a winch plate, put on the front of this, because you got to have a winch. Bless you. Bless you again. You know what that is? What? I'm allergic to work. <laughs> this is about to turn into work, so... Away we go. There's some stuff that. going down here. So we'll rip it apart and let you know what we've got. All right, we're about to find the problems here. Grandma Lolly hooked me up. I also did too. Got a new swag off-road hat, pretty sweet. They sent me some dimple dies that you're gonna see come into use when I'm building my FJ. We're about to see the, the carnage. See any difference? I mean, I'm sure that was gonna make it a while longer. Yeah, I hope there's a seal right there. Otherwise, oh, I don't wanna do a rear end. I just wanna drive it today. <laughs> Toasted. But the axle looks... That's what's left of the bearing. Okay. Luckily the... that one looks like it's still sealing, so... I think we're gonna be good there. We'll move to the other side, and then we'll know more of how bad this thing is. I don't even... Don't even need to take bolts out of that. The axle's stuck in it. There we go. We've got some stuff going down here. Brake lines yeah, off. Gotta take the brakes <laughs> off. We're winning. Brakes ain't even wore out. They're in good shape. The oil actually looks good in this. So, tells me the rear end's probably not hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and tear the rest of it apart. Start going back together with it. Looks like I need a brake line. I got a bad, bad cable on it. I'm gonna have to order one of those. Probably why the back brakes aren't working. Remember when I said the brakes weren't bad? Apparently they are now, they just fell apart. So everything else looks good. I'll put some parts on that other side, get the brakes rebuilt, put some footwells on it. We'll have ourselves a four-wheeler. Still not sure I'm getting the better end of this trade because I'm going to end up fixing that Cherokee. I'm going to have to put a head on it and stuff for my kids. So I guess that's what you do. All right, we're ready to go back together with our new old parts. Got that off of eBay for 25 bucks. I just pumped some grease back in there around the splines, just because grease is always good and helpful on splines. We'll slip all this back together and take some 10 millimeter bolt stuff out of here, change some footwell stuff, change oil. Should have me a decent quad then.
All right, so rear brakes are all done. I got to adjust them up still. I got to put this seal in that rear end, put the hub in it, put the tire on it, and then I can change oil in the thing. It looks like the shocks are junk. I'm going to end up buying some shocks because those are toasted. We may be getting it ready for a test ride here shortly. So, All right, we're just putting 90 weight in it. It's running out that little hole on the side. We're putting it in the top. So that means we're full up. Better tighten this this bolt or I'll forget. And it'll leak. It'll leak 90 weight all over and then the rear end will burn up. Let's see. Push the pedal down. They work. Now we'll get the, the handle one to work. Tighten this up. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. Rear is fixed. It's got two dipsticks over here. I don't really know what that's all about. We're going to do a little uh, YouTube University here and find out. I kind of think one is for like the front transmission or the transmission stuff and one's for the motor. Hmm. And I got to figure out where the, the oil filter is. There's hay and stuff in. Yeah, we're gonna stick a rag in that and blow that hay out of there. Already oiled and everything for us. So this goes around right here and clamps onto that. Mm. So one goes inside and one goes outside like that. And then this goes around it. Lid is on. Coolant. Yeah, there's no coolant in the reservoir. We'll fill that up. We hit the line. That'll be good enough then. Change the oil in her now. Okay. Yes, we get underneath and figure out how to do the, the oil plug out of it. Drain the oil. There's no way better to learn what these are than just to pull them out. That there's just a plug. This is the dipstick. Mystery solved. All you guys were probably thinking, I know what that is. It's got oil and it doesn't even look bad. Well, we're still changing it because I don't know the history on it. Fenders are, are floppy loose, but we're gonna fix all that today with that parts. All right, we're gonna try a little trick and see if we can bring the color back in this. on the really faded stuff. Let's see what it does to the black. It definitely changes its color. Who would have thought a little bit of heat you could make stuff look all shiny new again. It doesn't have to be purdy for me. I just wanted to see if that worked. Seeing it on the old Instagram and thought I should give that a try. It actually makes it look pretty cool. It does. The other side and then the skid plates off then I, then I can get to the oil. We're gonna go ahead and lift this quad in the air. Enough. Enough of this playing on the ground stuff. <laughs> yep that doesn't look sketchy at all. We should have done that to do the rear end. That would have been like a thousand times easier. <laughs> I could have worked on it right here instead of bending over. I've seen way worse oil that came from 2004. <laughs> got us a spark plug even I bought this whole little tune-up kit thing and came with an oil filter all the oil I need and a spark plug I guarantee it's never got a spark plug before that wasn't what I was expecting we'll, we'll figure it out I guarantee so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back I'm satisfied that that's enough of that oil. How many of the rest of you like doing oil drains or drain plugs with your impact gun? <laughs> I find it handy. You gotta be a little careful because it'll smoke the aluminum pretty quick if you're not. Oh yeah, we're on it now. How many springs and bushings are gonna fall? It's not so bad. That old filter up in. 
Right in the oil. <laughs> well then. Okay. Going in. In there. Oil is officially changed on this thing. We'll make another purchase on some front axles. I don't see anything else though. That's, that's looking like most of the troubles that we've had are, are minor, I think. Man, man, bad. Why? I think it's got two drain plugs. There's just, there's two drain plugs. We screwed up. Maybe we should have YouTubed it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a little new oil mixed in with that old oil there. Guess we'll know how to do this next time. <laughs> all right, we have uh, successfully drained all of the oil now. Okay, now we just gotta let it down, put a spark plug in it. I'm rocking the squirt today. As long as it's not Pepsi, I'll drink it. We're gonna try to get some foot wells on this because these are junk. Everybody knows bailing wire fixes everything. One, one sweet footwell. That's pretty. Two bolts are in. And there's one right above that one, too. Bailing wired up to that. Let's cut that bailing wire off. Good catch, Leroy. That's why I play baseball. Woo! Yeah! Good hit, man! That side's done. Let's, let's mosey to the other side. This side's got some manufacturing that we gotta do. This seems to be slightly deformed right there. Okay, that should do that. Now we should be going back together here. Well, we found the spark plug. It's a pretty smart thing to do, really, when you're you're working on something that's been in the dirt. Blow the spark plug hole out. That way none of the dirt falls down in when you pull the plug. Alright, let's see. We're live. We about got this done. So uh, you guys should comment and tell me if I got the better end of this trade or the south end of this trade. So leave it in the comments. Let us know what you think. Either way, I'm working on both of them. <laughs> well, I'm checking the antifreeze. Very fast. Alright, well, crack that door open and we'll take it for a ride. Okay, we'll, we'll put some gas in it because it says it's empty. We got a couple more little plastic pieces to buy. Probably ought to buy all these fender pieces because they're pretty heavy. They're hammered. all cracked. Why is it smoky? I think that California fire is blowing all of our, our way. She's all sparkly and new. Gonna need tires before long. These back ones, they're not wore out, but they're all weather checked and they're gonna, they leak. Needs a, a breather vent tube that goes in there. I gotta put my winch on it. What else do we gotta do? Please. Oh yeah, these little mud flaps and the axles. But for today, she's fixed. She's good as new. We'll take it for a ride and let you know how it works. All right, so I took this thing for a ride and it's an okay quad. It's got way more problems. So it's got a water pump that's bad and it's got front axles that are bad and the tires are going flat. Jace kind of got the better end of the deal. That little Jeep's gonna be fun, but really I win because now I get to help another kid build a cool truck. 
and I get a four-wheeler out of the deal. So in the end, it all equals out, and it's all good. All right, thanks for watching.